Well, that was a climb. is there. That's where I want to go. All used to be open before, it's all gated. Oi, oi, oi. Excuse the heavy breathing. Oh, I've got a photo of that from the bottom. window Take a check up that way. I remember coming here years ago with the kids and it was all open, but I think it's uh, been excavated since. Still, let's go and have a look. Turn this off because it's steep. But it's free to go in. This is the entrance. Yeah, they've obviously excavated still, we've got to find out. Information box. Nice garden shed. Toilet actually. <laughs> Looking down to the beach in La Cala and the distance. Worth coming up a bit more on this track. Very considerate. Chairs spaced out. 
all us old guys who get puffed out. today. Top of that hill over there is um, coastal defence. Many, many years ago, it's all been restored. Look at that place with the swimming pools on every floor. This is a pool here, but I think it's. Uh, only residents. Which residents? I don't know. Only Dorm Island. been a road up past this swimming pool on my right behind that fence. She'd come back up without a parachute. <laughs> Hotel, that tall one.
by like the glass walls. Amazing. I've been here nearly a month and a half and this is the first time I've ventured up. I'm glad I have now, and it's a cool day which uh, makes it a bit easier. I love the mountains. Faint hearted. beach there, Old Town stuck out and then um, Levante the other end. On the top of the hill over there is a big crucifix you can walk up to but I haven't done that yet. I'm going to try before I go back but it's uh, even worse than coming up to this one. Sea's calm even though it's windy. 
Yeah, I'm really glad I came up now. The views are amazing. Just see just how much this has been built up. I think so many people come to Benidorm and all they just spend their time in the bars and the clubs. They really want to get out. It's great. I think that rock, whether you can see it, where that line of mountains finished, then there's a rock. I think that's Altea. I'm not sure. It looks... I remember going over there once. That looks like the shape of it. Mitica up on the foot of those hills over there, just behind that building with the two lifts, uh, two um, cranes on. And then you've got um, Terra, oh, something Naturo where all the wild animals, elephants, and stuff are. And the White Hotel stood on its own in the distance. I think it's a golf course and whatever. I haven't been over that way for years. One thing I love about being here, they get on with things and they, they make it worthwhile, you know, it's brilliant. Well, it's been years and they suddenly, I mean, that building over there is, is old, I mean, it's centuries old. And to the right, there's like, um, you can't see it, but there's houses or uh, uh, barrack buildings where all the soldiers were. And they haven't done anything with it. I mean, they, they just fall into bits. The only thing they've revamped is that tower, which is a shame. It's all history. Wish they'd do more up there. It'd be brilliant. And you can drive up there. That's a good thing about it. I've walked up that hill. That's a killer. I did it three weeks ago. This is amazing what they've done up here. Love it. So if you've got time and you feel energetic, come and have a look. It's easily found if you're on Ponienti Beach down there, you just look up to your right and you'll see it. It's just a matter of uh, follow your nose. Anyway, I think that's enough of that. I'll go and load this up. Benny Dorm on a cloudy day in December. But I bet you it's still 16, 17 degrees, even with the cloud. I've only got a t-shirt on and a thin fleece. The wind's dropped. I just love there's so many different design buildings, the apartment blocks and oh that crazy place over there, look at that. Wow. <laughs> and these these sail shaped ones are now becoming the, the in thing. There's one, two, three, and I think there's two more being built. That one's not finished. Those two over there are, and then I think there's two more going up in front. Right. Going down. 
down, it's going to be a lot easier. Just take you part of the way down. up with all the terraces. I was looking at that, maybe that's just something that where they'd have lived or something, I don't know. There's nothing nothing on the boards about it, not that I've seen anyway. That's a lazy way of doing it, not come up in the car. <laughs> to be able to sit there and have a beer or two on the balcony at night. Right. Let's have a look on this board, see if it says anything about this terrace. Mm, it looks like something. back to the chapel and then switch this one off. Public toilet. It was immaculate, spotlessly clean, well looked after. That's only a simple thing, but it uh, certainly makes a difference, doesn't it? I suppose this is what it would have looked at in its day. Seventy seven BC, wow. Thank you. 
virgins of colour. Spot of rain now. More glimpse at Ponyente Beach. And the chapel. Nice that. Right. I'm turning off now, it's getting busy. I've got to walk down, dodging the cars. And hopefully beat the rain. That's where we've just been. <laughs> Hope you enjoy this one. Remember, if you're in Benidorm, there's a lot more to see than the bars. Even the odd wild cat. Oh, he's gone. Didn't like me. switch the camera back on. Anybody remember these? Fashion of the 70s back home. The old rubber plant stood in your front room. What's the real worth it? Ficus something or other. They got one right down in the centre of uh, the old town. Massive tree it is. It's a lot easier going down. Let's have a quick peek and see what's going on. Just a roof of house, I think, yeah. Being nosy. Ooh, please don't rain. If you want to see this place, I don't advise walking up unless you're really fit. Which I'm not, that's why I never film coming up. All you've heard is my puffing and panting. I don't know what this would be. One in four, I should think. Funny there was no wind up there, now it's really picking up. So we go down this way. More of the older houses. down on the door there. Look at that. This isn't one, this is two or three, maybe four or five. Oh, one of 41, huh? I think, or one of 40, I don't know. 
There's lots of them, look. Oh, that's nice. I think this would have been an easier way to climb up. Unless I'm going to a dead end. Please don't tell me it's a dead end. Which I think it is. Blast. <laughs> is there any steps? Oh, what's this? Oh, but it's a dead end. Oh, yes. It'd be a dead end. Have a move. Get his playground. Oh well, other ways for a trip. Slowly going down. Great stairwell though to the different floors. What's that there, Mum? Oh, it's a museum. Sadly, it's not open. People will come and look. Oh, I'm just guessing this. It's obviously Archaeological Museum of Municipal, I don't know. straight if there's anybody watching this video <laughs> I find if I write Benidorm on uh, a video I get lots of views not as many as I'd like but I get a few if I don't mention Benidorm I think it's only uh, friends and family who actually bother I never get round to editing this stuff, I've got no idea how to do it, I just uh, film it and hope for the best it's passable. Not like these professional bloggers who make great videos, I love them. A nice block of apartments. You haven't been to Benidorm, folks. As soon as all this COVID rubbish finishes and uh, the British government stop ripping us off with all these tests, I'm going back next week and it's just added a hundred pound onto my bill because I've got to have two tests, one here and one on day two, uh, which I actually wasn't expecting. And uh, even today in Parliament, bloody Javid is... They think it's a big joke that they're ripping people off. You know, we're bloody pensioners. And all they do is rip us off. A hundred pound. That's a seventh of my basic British pension. Just to get back into the dump. Dump mean in the UK it's run by crooks we all know they are don't know if I mention the names one of them is called what is it PM I'm just trying to think what you could make out of PM that would let him know what we think of him and that Javid he's worse than that idiot Wankok I mean Hancock Still, I won't get started on that, otherwise I'll be uh, boring you to death. <laughs> you 
Here we are, nearly at ground level. Coming down into the bay. everywhere this one's for sale nice if you like steps been there a long time, I remember it, so it's obviously quite safe. That's strange. Those, you must go in that garage, and then those steps run up from the back. Down into La Cala. That's what I call it anyway. Holiday in Spain today. Wednesday the, uh, what is it, the 8th? I think. Yeah, Wednesday the 8th of December. So it's a bank holiday. Just started checking uh, COVID passports when you go into the bars now. Here, I've been in two recently. I got checked both times. Not that it bothers me. It's all on my phone. I got my vaccine. If you're happy to show it, who cares? Doesn't worry me. few surfers out but the wind's dropped so the old waves are dying down now all I can say about this restaurant here Peter is it's got to be amazing because the other day there was a queue of I estimated between 50 and 60 waiting to get in and every single seat was full they do amazing um, paellas but it's such a popular place so if you're in colour people ice cream parlour getting ready for next year that used to be a restaurant on the beach over there but I went past the other day it's empty closed the loft is closed Covid bikes oh what's going on here oh here are they? first to the 15th of December closed for um refurbishment. I wonder why this was closed when I walked down. Coffee shop, restaurant, another busy place. Oh, they're all busy. Unusually quiet today, it's the weather that's there. I don't know how many minutes long this uh, video is going to be. You'll be bored stiff. 
no traffic, that's nice. Not down here anyway. Do you like the cupcake flower beds? Oh. Somebody put that one in upside down. But... <laughs> that used to be English owned, Cossa. Whether it still is, I don't know. It certainly looks like the same people. Been there for years. The local bus into town. If you come this way, get on a number two. Not a th well, you can get a two or a three, but going back, always get a two if you're going back to Rincon. Christmas tree is about as good as the one they have in Cheltenham, where I live in England. Right, that's enough.